Thanks, Ben. Look at that, mate. That's 27 and a half new pence for that lot. Yeah. That's five and a tanner in real money. That's daylight robbery. Well, I'll tell you what, mate. Blimey. You're lucky you can afford it, mate. I better go back on the sandwiches. Yeah. We're all skint at home. Yeah, the old lady said she can't manage on the money. She reckons she's got to take in the lodger. Hell, yeah, that's what I've got, sandwiches, mate. Look at that. They're the leftovers, they are. Yeah. That's supposed to be your chicken sandwich. Olive said to me, I'll give you a bit of the breast. Now, hang on, mate. I want to show you something here. <laughs> Hey, how about that, then? Breast? Blimey. That must have been a very flat-chested chicken. Uh, yeah. Well, there it goes. That's our iron, mate. Oh, blimey. Look at old Dracula. He's doing all right. Yeah, well, they can't get the blood these days, you see. That's why he's gone on the solids. Yeah. Poor old boy. He's passed it. He ain't never been the same since he had his fangs removed. <laughs> why don't you two shut up? You're like a couple of morons, you are, honestly. <laughs> Inspector, Inspector, hey. you want it on the telephone? Oh, yes, I'll take it. <laughs> that looks good, Jack, doesn't it? Yeah, it's not right, you know, one bloke having all that grub. No, you're right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brats are good. Hmm? Chips look better, though. <laughs> I think I'll have some of them, mate. Oh, uh, well, a uh, bevy's sandwich must have gone down the wrong way. <laughs> it's marvellous, eh? It don't matter whether he's eating or driving a bus, it always ends up going down the wrong way. <laughs> ah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> One of my sprouts is missing. <laughs> no, it's most probably hiding behind your sausage there. I always have four sprouts, one of them's missing. Well, damn it, daft. I'll tell you what, Jack. Ring up Interpol. <laughs> You've had it, haven't you? Of course, what are you talking about? You've had one of my sprouts, ah, mate. Don't be dull. And some of my chips and all. No. You've been eating my grub, haven't I you? I have not, no. <laughs> it's all over your hand. Look, it's my sprout there. Look, there, all the stuff. There, what, do you want to lick it? You want to lick it? Why don't you get your own grub, of course? Because I can't afford it, that's why, mate. I'm telling you that. The old lady's dead skint at times. She said, you've got to take in the lodger and all that sort of thing. I'll tell you something. And since they've done this decimal system, mate, since they've rounded the figures up, we're all swindled. It's a yeah. swindle. Nonsense. Yeah, it's not, mate. He's quite right. Look at that. Portion of beans, four peas. Now, last week, that was eightpence. Now, that should be three and a half peas. Well, he's right, you know. They've even stuck half a pea on the beans. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on in this country. Anything to put the prices up, that's what it is. See that up there? Cup of tea, sevenpence. Sevenpence. Now, sevenpence should be two and three quarter peas. But is it? Since they've rounded it up, sevenpence now becomes three peas. You do talk a lot of nonsense, <laughs> aren't you? How can a canteen operate on quarter peas? It's no such thing. Well, I don't see why we've got split peas. Twits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm joking, but I'm telling you, we're skin to time. The old lady says you've got to take in the lodger. You don't happen to know anybody wants a room, do you? Well, as a matter of fact, there's a new transport manager coming over from uh, Central Depot with his assistant for three months. God, blimey, Blake, are you human after all? Do you know what? I never thought you'd do anything for me. I'm not doing it for you, I'm doing it for me. Because if you get a bit more money, perhaps you'll keep your hands off my sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mum! God, blimey, what's your step up here? <laughs> Mum, I'm home! Oh, God, blimey, where is everybody? Oh, hello, hello love. love. Mum, I'm starving. Where's my grub? It's uh, fish and chips in the oven. I didn't have any time to do any proper cooking, but we've been so busy getting the room ready for the lodger. They came from the depot. He's a traffic manager. You don't have to tell me. I was the one that arranged it, wasn't I? Yes, and he's coming here to sleep tonight. Um, we've got everything ready, but it's been such a rush, and Arthur helped. Eh? Hey? Yes. Yes, he's having bed and breakfast evening meal. He's paying ten pound a week. Ten quid a week? You can't charge him that, mate. Rami's got to sleep on our rotten old camp bed. No, I've uh, I've taken care of all that. I found him a very fine bed. He'd be most comfortable. Oh, good, aren't oh. you? Where'd you get it? Out the old bedroom. <laughs> what? Listen, I'm not sleeping on that rotten old camp bed, mate. That's what you're having, mate. What? 
Oh, no, yes, no. Yes, love. Not... Well, we had to give him a proper bed for that price, you see. What do you... Oh, yes. And we had to take one or two other little things. What do you mean, one or two other little things? Just a minute now. Well, wait a minute. I'm, I'm going to follow you. Listen, no, look. Listen, you're listen you're I'm going to leave you, mate. Now, Stan. You don't trust you, boy. You keep your hands off that. I've been yeah. working my finger to the bone all morning. I bet you have. Don't no. touch your finger. I bet you have. Don't even get airy, ain't you, mate? There's nothing you're going to miss. Oh, blimey. You stripped it. Where's my wardrobe? Over there. <laughs> you put all my shirts and all my things on the floor. Yeah, well, at least I took the trouble to cover them up with newspaper. You took the trouble to... You're lying. You just tipped the drawers upside down because that paint was on the bottom. Yeah, well, I was in a bit of a hurry. I get out of bed, I walk all over my clothes. Oh, now that's rather fortunate because I've had to take your rug away. What? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm very pleased. Thank you. Had the decency to leave me a chair. Oh. Thanks for reminding me. I seem to have forgotten that. <laughs> Pick them up! Hey, Pick them up! Oh, all right. That's better. Blimey, I've got nowhere to put them now. <laughs> What's all the fuss about? I'll tell you what the fuss is about. It's stripped the room and I'm not sleeping on that rotten thing. Well, there's nothing rotten with that. Me and your dad used to sleep on that in the war down in the shelter before he went on his active service. Oh, blimey, you couldn't have done much on that. Ah, oh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> when he went away to war, my little Olive was on the way. Yeah, the war certainly caused a lot of suffering. <laughs> then he came back on leave, saw his little Olive, and went away to Burma for five years. He must have volunteered. Oh. Why are you always so rude? Why am I so rude? Look what you've done to me. I love to sleep on yeah, this. Hey. It must be him, bloke with two suitcases. Must be the lodger. Well, tell it to sling his hook, then. Oh, no! Listen, I can't, we're not ready! Oh, oh we can't, come God, on! God, you can't me. leave him on the doorstep while he's <laughs> sprinkling the house! Let oh, him in! On. All right, come on! Hurry up! Oh, head up on this. Put that down! Oh, all right. Well, I couldn't do it! I'm the one that's been to the house outside. Mrs. Butler? Yes? Are you the gentleman from the depot? Yeah, that's right. Nichols, oh. traffic manager. <laughs> Come in, please. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Your room's all ready. Oh, thank you. Uh, this is my family. Oh, yeah. This is my son, Stan. He works on the buses, you know. Oh, yes, I had heard. <laughs> and this is my daughter, Olive. How oh, do you do? have a daughter. <laughs> How do you do, my dear? <laughs> and her husband. <laughs> yes, I'm pleased to meet you. Well, your room's all just here. Oh, thank you very much. Well, come on, Stanley, don't stand there. Pick up the gentleman's bags. <laughs> <laughs> well, you uh, you should be very comfortable here, Mr. Nichols. Oh, thank you very much, yes. Uh, ah, nice bed. Uh, I can't sleep unless I've got a nice, comfortable bed. <laughs> oh, neither can I. <laughs> oh, I've got a trunk to come. I hope this wardrobe will be big enough. Oh, yes. It holds quite a lot. Done it, Stan. Mm, three suits, six pairs of slacks, a raincoat, overcoat, four pairs of shoes and my uniform. <laughs> oh. oh, you've tried it, have you? Yes, last night. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, it all looks very satisfactory. <laughs> yes. Well, we leave you to unpack. <laughs> You'll have had your tea, of course. Uh, no, as a matter of fact, I haven't. Oh. Uh, oh, well, I'll, I'll get you some. There's plenty. Uh, we eat in the back room when you're ready. Oh, thank you, yes. <laughs> Come on, Stanley. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Nicholson. <laughs> oh, my God, look at the mess. Oh, oh come on, Stan, give me a hand with this. Here, where's Olive? In the yard. Well, blow it, take her things off the line. Will he's coming in at the east? And get those papers cleared up off the floor. Oh, all oh, right. Oh, look, Stan, give me a hand. Oh, blimey, look now, spill the milk. Oh, get a mop and mop oh, it Oh, don't be daft. Ain't got time for that. Come here. Oh, oh Stan, what are you doing? Put him in the sink. Oh, you can't, love. It looks so slovenly. All oh, right, well, I'll put him in the cupboard in here. <laughs> What's happening? The lodger's coming in here. Get your drawers down. <laughs> Down off the line, you dozy lump. <laughs> Look, darling, I know he's paying ten quid a week and all found, but there is a limit, you know. Stan, come on, love, give me a hand with this. Here, set the table. Best cutlery. Best cutlery? Yes, yeah, set that's, for one. That's a laugh. What are you going to eat? Your fish and chips. Yeah. <laughs> My fish and chips? Well, what am I going to eat then? Oh, there's a couple of sardines left over, isn't there, Olive? Yeah, I was saving them for the cat. <laughs> Charming. Well, I'm not standing for this.
service. Look, traffic manager or not, I don't care. Or I'm not standing for well, any. Uh, can oh, I come in. Yes, of course, Mr. Nichols. Yes. Uh, sit down. Uh, okay. Oh, am I eating alone? Uh, well, no. Yes. What? We've already eaten, haven't we, Stanley? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Olive's just bringing yours down. It's uh, uh, it's only fish and chips, I'm afraid. Uh, yes, well, uh, I think I'll just go and wash. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it's the uh, first on the left, upstairs. Oh, yes, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to have some of my chips. Oh, no, you can't! <laughs> Look, he's had me bed, he's got me fish, and he's not having me chips, and that's oh, it. Oh, Stan! Stan, don't oh, we... uh, Excuse me, did you have a towel? <laughs> Anything wrong? Is he still in the bathroom? Shh, keep your that fine lodger you've introduced in the house. He's been in there hours. You should fuck on the door and tell him to get a move on. Out. Well, I for one, I'm not staying here any longer, mate. I'm going to bed. Olive! <laughs> He's right, you know, Mum. We should start as we meet to carry on. Yes. Yes. I'm going to tell him straight. Yes, yeah, do. Yeah. You. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I do hope I haven't kept you waiting. <laughs> not at all, Mr. Nichols. No, it was. Uh, just waiting to say good night to you. <laughs> oh, how kind of you. Well, yes. good night then. Yes, good, good night. night. Yes. Good night. <laughs> oh, uh, Mrs. Butler. Yes. Uh, do you think I could have another blanket on my bed if you have one? Oh yes, of course. There's plenty. I'll, I'll just get one out of the linen cupboard. Oh, thank you. This is it, dear. If I don't get this, is put the electric fire on. This is my blanket. I've only got one. Oh, there you are, straight from the cleaners. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> well, good night then. Yes, good, good night, night, Mr. Nichols. Will you be all right, son? Well, I have to, won't I? Eh? Well, good night. Good night. your blankets. You might have knocked, mate. Why? There's nothing likely to be going on in here, is there? <laughs> well, we, we might not be. I like, don't be daft. There's not leap here. Listen, mate. The old lady's taken one of my blankets and I've only got one left and I want one of yours. Will you take your hands off my bedclothes? You've got five blankets. I not... have not got five. You have got one, two, three, four, five, four, five, no, it's not five. That's one of your bed socks. <laughs> anyway, you've got four blankets and I want one of them. Well, you leave those alone. We're not warm enough as it is. Oh, Arthur, let him have one. We'll be all right. I'll snuggle up to you to keep warm. <laughs> <laughs> that settles it. Keep your hands off my blankets. <laughs> you are so rude. Why are you always like this? I suppose you don't think I'm desirable. 
I'm not committing myself. <laughs> well, you may not fancy me, but he does. The lodger. Why don't you wait till you're asleep before you start dreaming? <laughs> when you finish this romantic conversation, can I have one of these blankets? No. Right, well, that's it then. Hey, uh, when, when you take your head, if I... <laughs> when you give me back my bed clothes? Yeah, when I've got mine. Here you are, mate. You can have them, son, for all your work. And that's yours. Right, that's it. Get! Get! Give me back that blanket! Listen, give me back that blanket! Oh, don't strain yourself! And will you shut up? Well, think about your operation! Hey, that's it, thanks, right. Hey, give me back that blanket! Listen, I'll tell you! Keep quiet up there, I'm trying to get some sleep! And sorry, Mr. Nichols. Good night. We'll sleep well. He's blanking me. If he kills me, we're going to have him right. <laughs> no, done. Right. Well, this is enough to keep me warm. I hope you have a good night's sleep. Good night. Uh, what about me? I shall get all cold round the middle. Well, put your vest down and your bed socks up. <laughs> <laughs> Blimey cheek. I suffer all the time. Oh, it's got bad. Oh, clothes I got. Blimey, it wouldn't keep a rabbit warm. <laughs> what else? Ah, uh, oh, yes, ah, oh, that's more like it. An old overcoat. Come in handy after all. Well, I don't blame me if the lodger decides to have another bath. I only just got my razor out before you locked the door. Well, go and calm to have you round here. Why don't you go and shave off about oh, that Oh, all right, all right, all Getting right. Getting in his way. There you are. God, blimey. A right night I've had. I had to sleep on the floor. And then I couldn't get in the bathroom this morning. Where the lodger's having a bath? He's having a blimey. He had one last night. He had one first thing this morning. What's he doing all night? Been sleeping in your bed. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Well, I have to shave down here like you. You're not borrowing my razor, mate. I didn't have to, mate. I went into your room and I borrowed olives. Ruddy <laughs> cheek. It's all right. She wasn't using it. Oh, I don't think that's very nice, Stan. Who for? Her or me? Oh, really? Oh, can you, look, can oh, you get out of here? Is breakfast ready yet? Now, of course it is. Now, I'm getting the lodgers ready. Bumpy oh, mine. I'm trying to get a bit of soap. Well, go and shave over there. Oh, look, blimey, I'll go and shave with him then. Here, here. is that my razor? No, darling, it's mine. Shrunk a bit. Oh. Well, of course it's your razor. But you've got a nerve. You might blunt it. Oh, cool, blimey. <laughs> cool, cool, dear. I should have borrowed your tweezers, not this, you know. <laughs> Where did you last put a blade in here? There, now. I think the lodger liked that. Oh. You're not giving these breakfast on a tray, are you? Well, he can't come in here like this. Look at us all. I'm not dressed. You two shaving. What will he think? He's a gentleman. <laughs> Do you mind? Blow me, I've got to go. I can't see. Get over. Uh, you stupid great fool. I might have cut my throat. It's a pity you didn't, mate. I could have borrowed your razor. <laughs> what do you have to push on somewhere else? Oh, oh get off. No, I mean, all right, I'll go over where I was before. Yes. Now, listen, mate. Oh, listen. Stay, oh. look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Well, he's clean enough on the outside. It won't hurt him to be clean on the inside. But I can't give him that. It's all soapy. Won't hurt him. Won't do any harm. Oh, well, all right. Then, well, you can have this and I'll give him yours. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I always have to suffer? Yeah, I'll have. Go on. Take it into him, quick. What, me? Like this? Yes, otherwise he's come in here. Ask him if he wants anything else, then come back and do Arthur's breakfast. Oh, right? There right. you go. That's it. Uh, come in. It's your breakfast, Mr. Nichols. Oh. Oh, thank you very much, my dear. Oh, you're looking very nice this morning. Oh, thank you. Um, is, are you sure it's what you want? Uh, you can have anything you fancy. <laughs> can I? <laughs> Shall I put it on the bed? <laughs> uh, no, I think I'll have it over there on the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I won't have time for a proper breakfast now. I just have to have a cup of tea and a bit of toast, Mum. All right, old love, you have that. <laughs> hey! That sounds like Olive! Oh, Olive, 
What is it? Oh, it's Darcy's gone near the lottery. He touched me. Oh, oh don't be daft. <laughs> Why is it you're always imagining that men are after you? He did. He pinched my bottom. Oh, <laughs> don't be stupid. It must have been an accident or something. You bumped into him. It's an accident. That's what no, it was. no, it's probably still red. Look, all the Lord. <laughs> what do you expect me to do? Dust you for fingerprints? Oh, that's not all he did, Mum. What? Oh, what, what, what was that? What was that? What was that? No, no. Oh, blimey, why is it I, I miss all the best bits? Oh. <laughs> oh, I think it's disgusting. What kind of a girl does he think Olive is? Oh, good gracious me, you go in and tell him to leave. How do you often I tell him to leave? I don't know what's happened. Now, come on, tell me what's happened. What, what, I did what Mum said. I took him his breakfast in, and then I, then I asked him if he'd like it on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, go on then, then. And then I said, if there was anything else he fancied, I'd give it to him as soon as my husband had gone. <laughs> Darling, you practically handed it to him on a plate. No, it was on a tray. Oh, oh well, I think it's disgusting. He's got a nerve. Arthur, she's your wife. You go in and tell him to leave. You're quite right, mother in I should go in there and personally chuck him out. Yes, that's right. Even if he is paying ten pounds a week. Hey. Oh. Well, I don't think any of us should be too hasty. Stan, you go and tell him to leave. How can I? I just told you I'm late for work. Now you'll have to go and tell him. All right. I will. What a nerve. I told him he could have a room, a bed and two meals for ten guineas a week. I think he's paying ten guineas a week and all found. <laughs> Well, he certainly didn't waste time in trying to find it. <laughs> you gonna get another lodger then? You must be joking, mate. Blimey, I had enough with the other one, didn't I? Mind you, when old Blakey found out the lodger had left, he asked me if I'd like to put the assistant up. <laughs> oh, no fear. That's enough trouble, boy, I tell you. Oh, I can't stand it. Well, back on sandwiches, are we? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, your room would have done for that assistant traffic manager, you know. You must be joking, mate. I had enough of the last fellow, I'll tell you that. <laughs> this way, look, I get my own bed. No, no, too much trouble. Oh, Mr. Blake, I managed to get fixed up this morning. Oh, good. Yeah. Nice digs, and there's a bachelor there, so I'll be all right. <laughs> Oh, a cracker, old lady. Oh. <laughs> oh. Just anyway, she looked at me there. Yeah. <laughs> Who is it? That is the assistant traffic manager. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, you didn't tell me he was a she. I don't have to tell you everything, do I? Yeah, you missed out there, though, didn't you, hey? <laughs> I bet you wouldn't have minded her having your bed for three months, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's made my day, it's that. I hate you, Blakey. I hate you. Yeah, you must have a bit of pleasure out of life. Have one of my chips. <laughs> well, I'll have ample, mate. I'll tell you wait, that. Hey, hey. Oh, bro! 